guys and welcome to today's episode of Fossil Friday. So today we're going to be washing some of my fossils. So this little green pot is just a pot of water and then this tray here has all the muddy fossils in it. So I'm just going to be soaking them. I'll show you what they look like when they're all muddy and then once they've soaked for a few hours I'll show you what they look like all clean. So this one here you might have seen in my last video. So this is a Hildosera salmonite. So this is what it looks like currently so you can see it's got quite a lot of mud on it so I'm just gonna plop it in and I will move my camera so you can see just how much mud comes off these when I first drop them in I find it really satisfying to watch like the cloud of mud just pool around the fossil but you guys might want to see that as well so I'll move the camera so these are the fossils I currently put in there so there's just a few fragments and little ones and then that's the one you just saw so if I grab another muddy looking fossil, you can see the pool that will form. So here we have sort of like a partial ammonite, but it's a very pretty one. You can see all the lovely sutures and ribs on it. So I'll plonk it in and you can see how muddy it is. <laughs> so I will flip them all over once they've soaked this way for a little bit, just so the mud can naturally fall off of them rather than me having to brush it off. But I will just use a very um, soft brush just to get rid of anything that's not coming off it. So this Dactylioceros is stuck in its rock currently. They're gonna focus for you guys. There you go. Um, so I'm just gonna soak it before I try and chip it out. Um, that might not work, but it's worth a shot trying to get it out. And then we got this one. So by the time all the fossils are in there, the water will be hard to see, I'm sure, what's inside it. So this is just a brachiopod, nice and little. So yeah, this is what we've got here. So this one I think I'm gonna need to clean up separately. It's got some bits that I need to glue back onto it once it's soaked, because they're only attached to it via the mud. So this is a sea urchin that we're just gonna soak. So that sea urchin's actually from a different location to the rest of the fossils, but it just got put into this pot. So I thought we would clean it up nonetheless. Now this is a bag of belemnite, so you might have seen this in my last Fossil Friday, but they're all a little bit muddy, um, so I'm literally just going to plonk them all in. There we go. So that's them all in there. Um, and then there's just some more little ones down here I'll put in, and then I'll leave that as that for now. I don't want to overload it because I've got to put them somewhere once they're cleaned. <laughs> Just little ammonites. Okay, so we'll let those soak and then we'll come back and see what they look like. So the water has definitely changed colour. You can't really see any of the fossils within it, which makes me think that at least they'll be a little bit cleaner than they once were. So I'm going to take them out one by one and rinse them under the tap and then let them dry. So these two I did previously, so you can see they're still a little bit wet, but they are drying. So um, yeah, let's do that. Okay, so the first fossil we're going to do is this one here, which looks really funky. So I have just got a little brush just to help it um, whilst I run it under the tap and we can look at the finished thing. <clears throat> so that's what this one looks like. I think that's turned out really cool. It's a really unusual ammonite. I love how you can see the chambers through here. Very, very cool. So the back of it's pretty normal um you can only see the ammonite from one side but i love that so cool so i'll pop that one to dry then we can do the sea urchin now hopefully you guys will be able to see it a bit better so this is what the sea urchin looks like all clean um you can't really see much of the detailing of it um there is a few a few bits where you can see the little holes um, and the pattern going down it but it is a little bit weathered but um, it's still a nice piece nonetheless and I haven't found many sea urchins so it's always nice to find a few of those. Now the next piece I'll show you guys is, oh this is a Lytoceros ammonite fragment. So I found a Mega Lytoceros before but I wanted to have a smaller piece to go with it. So this is what the fragment looks like and you can now see a lot more detail than you could before. 
um, so it's cleaned up quite nicely. You can actually see the sutures going around it. So it's quite a nice fragment. Before it just looked like a smooth, muddy thing. So I'm just going to give it a rinse um, and see if it cleans up any more. There you have a piece of Lytosaurus. But it's quite a funky piece, I think. So I'll let that one dry. Oh yeah, this is the nice Hildoceros I showed you at the start. So it now looks like this. So it's a bit cleaner, but I think it'll clean up even more with some water. And now that it's cleaned up, you've now got a Bellum Knight in the back here. You've got some very obvious ribbing down the side here. I'm not entirely sure what that's from. I mean, it might be a shell or it could be an ammonite. It just looks a little bit unusual. And then you've got the lovely big ammonite on the front. So this one's gorgeous. And it's got quite a large chunk of rock behind it, so it can kind of hold its own and sit quite nice on a shelf. So this one's really, really beautiful. So I'll let this one dry. Then I don't know how many, I think that's all the big ones. Uh, da, da, da. And then we've got loads and loads of bellum knights to go through. <laughs> well, this is a very pretty bellum knight. Look at this. It's kind of got um, two-tone colorings in it. So pretty. But um, yeah, I've got loads of bellum lights and I'm going to put them all in a jar at some point. <laughs> so I'll see if I can hunt down a jar to do that today. Um, otherwise they're just all going to sit in a pot and I hate that. Um, so now we can do, this is a chunky Dactylioceros. So this one needs a bit of a rinse. So this one's still a little bit muddy in the middle. Um, but it's cleaned up quite nicely and it's very chunky. But look at that. So it's just a nice little size and it matches, I think it matches my tattoo pretty well. Da, da, da. <laughs> it's a very similar size. Now I really like this one, so we'll let this one dry. Um, and then I think I'm just going to empty out this pot now because they all feel pretty small. Oh, this one's kind of big. We'll do this one actually. I keep saying that. <laughs> and then I keep finding a big one. So this was one of the squashed Dactylioceruses. So you can see it's got a bit more colour to it now. Um, see if I can brush off any of the other stuff. But this one might need a little nail and a hammer to chip out the middle by the look of it. It doesn't seem to be soft mud. But um, yeah, it just looks like that now. Such a funky ammonite. I love how it's like squished. <laughs> so, so cute. Right, so I'm gonna now sort out the other ones and then I'll show you them all when they're dry. So they're all washed and they're just drying now a little bit, but I think I definitely collected a few too many bellum lights. There is quite the collection here, but some of them are really pretty. Like, I don't know if you guys can see just how like crystallized and shiny some of them are, but they have turned out lovely. And then we've got a few brachiopods. And of course, always some little ammonites. And then we've got the bigger ammonites at the back here. And the lonely little sea urchin, which doesn't actually belong with these rocks, but we washed it anyway. See if you guys can get a better. Can you see the little hole spines down there? There's a little bit of detailing down one side. But they're all clean now and they're just drying. So I need to think about where to put these. I think I'm gonna put these little ones all into one jar and the bigger ones can go into my cabinets. That's the plan. So we're going to start filling up the rest of this so you can sort of see where the previous stuff finishes um, and I'm going to do a layer of loads and loads of bellum nights, um, hopefully without breaking the glass, we'll see. A lot of the little ones I think will just fall down but that's fine. We kind of want it to fill up the space because I don't have enough space for my fossils so this is good. <laughs> so we can put some bigger ones in. Dun, dun, dun. I'm not doing this carefully whatsoever. I just am trying not to smash the glass and hoping they'll just sort of find their own place. Okay, I have definitely not filled this up level. <laughs> I think I should twiddle it around this side and put some more on in here. While I'm saying that, I need to go collect some more bellum lights. I just kind of want that one be on the edge. Like that. Cool. Now we can put some of the little ammonites in. And 
there you have it, all the little fossils have gone into this jar and there's still space for more. So this is just a really sort of convenient way to put your fossils somewhere because if I laid all of those little ones out, they would take up so much shelf space where putting them in a jar like this, you still get to see a lot of them. Obviously the ones in the middle do get lost, but when you have so many of the same fossil, I think it works quite well because I'm not too sad that I don't get to see every single one of the Bellum Knights I found. They just sort of make up a layer. Um, but obviously really nice ones I'll keep to one side and put in my cabinet, but for now this jar is a space saver and that's a lifesaver. <laughs> so really happy with how that turned out and then the bigger ones that I've got in front of me, I think some of the nicer ones I'll put in my cabinets and then the other ones I'll probably put in a little basket so when friends come around and stuff like that they can have a fossil if they want a fossil. Because um, the way I see it is if I didn't take it from the beach it would have got destroyed eventually by the waves, which isn't a problem. But if it's quite a nice fossil, obviously there's only so many I can have, but I, I like to give them away to people who want them. So um, I think some of these ones can go in that basket. But um, yeah, that's today's video. I really do hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give it a like and subscribe. I'll link my Instagram down below. And yeah, let me know in the comments any future videos you want to see, but I really hope you enjoyed and thank you so much for watching.